Hey everyone, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors. Well, welcome to an undisclosed location in North Central Alberta where we're on the trail of wild boar. This is the boar. This is the foot rounded and then the dew claws outside the foot. There is plenty of sign that wild pigs are active in this area. Concerned landowners have reached out through the Squeal on Pigs program. That call put into motion Larry and Scarlett Nelson, who are responsible for the trapping and removing wild pigs from the land base. They are so smart. Yeah, we don't know how many are in there. I guess the, probably the, the only, maybe the best way to figure out how many is by the Squeal on Pigs and mm -hmm. landowners. Like they're the, they're the information, like we just get dispatched. So they have an idea how many wild boar they've seen. So when they call 310 farm or squeal on pigs, you know, that's probably the best way is that we have to rely on the landowners and their knowledge because they know their property and their area and talk to people. We, we're just dispatched to go there and, and do what we've been called to do. After a three-year trial program and now two years of active trapping, over 160 pigs have been removed. An actual population number is difficult to pin down given the elusiveness of these animals. When a landowner calls, then we respond and we start with a pre-bait and then, and then once the bait is set, depending on how educated the sounder is, whether they've been shot at and and uh, because each sounder is different, each one responds different. So how, how we do things at each place is also different depending on what we're dealing with and how educated the pigs are. How long does it take you to put something like this together? This kind of trap, four days. Mm -hmm. This is just one of 10 active traps located across the province and each is monitored with a sophisticated remote camera system allowing Scarlett and Larry to trigger the trap from just about anywhere in the province. Okay, we are at site 11, so I can do it here. So site 11, I go here, I go to the settings, I scroll down, I go close gate, hit close gate, confirm, yes, I wanna close that gate. And then it shoots a text. I hit send, and by the time I usually count to 10, that gate will drop. The presence of wild pigs in Alberta poses a serious health risk and could threaten the province's entire pork industry. Yeah, so the, the main concern for us as the industry is African swine fever. So if that disease gets into the wild boar populations here, there's a serious or significant risk that they could co-mingle with some of our outdoor operations and then start to introduce that disease into our, our commercial industry. The challenge with that is because African swine fever is a reportable disease nationally and internationally, it will result in the closure of our borders. And if the borders do get shut down, it could result in an economic loss topping $23 billion, providing a serious incentive for the pork producers of Alberta to take a lead role in the eradication program. I think within industry, we can work directly with our producers on, on education. And then we have an excellent partnership with Alberta Agriculture, like UOA, and our, our pest specialists, which have allowed us to, to hire Larry and Scarlett, who you met earlier. Um, they work very closely under the membership of the government of Alberta. and We're very appreciative for that. But it allows us to, to bring that to the table, to enhance the boots on the ground and really get people out here doing the surveillance scouting to understand the population that we do have here in Alberta. Wild boar were first introduced to the province in the 1980s and 90s when farmers were encouraged to diversify their livestock. Some of these pigs escaped and wasn't long before they started to reproduce and become feral. So under the Agric Agricultural Pest Act, they are deemed a pest. And so what that means, again, is that people are required to eradicate them when they're on their property. Because of that, there is no open season on them for hunting. People can hunt them all year long, as, follow they, as long as they follow proper rules and regulations with regards to firearm usage. With regards to the meat of the wild boar, it is determined, it is considered uninspected meat, not inspected by a meat inspector. And so therefore, it's, not, it's deemed not safe for human consumption. 
Now there is another reason hunting is not a good way to eliminate these animals. You know, that's a, that's a really good word, temper the reaction, because it is one that hits people right in, in, in the heart. They enjoy, at some levels, hunting these things, and then you also have landowners who also have a, a requirement to eradicate them from their land as well. So hunting is technically legal in Alberta, but as an industry, we are starting to work towards legislation and to move towards the prohibition of hunting. And I, I know right away that upsets a lot of folks, but the reason for it is, is they are an invasive species. They don't belong here. They are very damaging to our ecosystems. And then they're smart. They're, they're, they're brilliant. I mean, all you do when you hunt them, you might kill one or two of them, but then you scatter the rest of that sounder. And you've just taught them. You've just educated them about humans and about hunting. So now you've made them even smarter. The proof is in the pudding. We eradicate and set traps up all year long um, and we have success eradicating even in the summertime, even when the crops are abundant, there's food everywhere, we are still successful in eradicating wild boar. However, once there is hunting pressure or hunting season, on our many cameras and our sites, we do not have any wild boar activity all throughout hunting season. So it just shows us, wow, if we want success in this program, it's whole sounder removal and it is making them feel safe, which the hunting pressure definitely doesn't. The amount of time and effort that goes into the setup and monitoring of these traps is significant and so far has proven to be the most effective method to eliminating one of our most wanted invasive species. In North America, they are one of our biggest concern. They're one of the most invasive species in our continent. Um, they have crop damage, they have environmental damage, um, they can spread disease. There's a lot of different um, facets that these species can kind of dip their toes in and affect. So we really want to get a good control on them and that would be through the eradication program and squealing on pigs by reporting them. So as you can see, it's a real effort to get these uh, animals trapped and off the land base. And uh, you can help if you go to the link that I'll put just below and uh, check out the information that you can find at the Alberta Invasive Species Council website and uh, help us all squeal on pigs. Till next time, I'm Michael Short. Come on, let's go outdoors.